Oh yeah, they are definitely grouping up over here nicely. Hello friends. Maxwell Chadwick still lives. The nag is bandaged and he is fine. One day has passed. I wanted to wait to see if his health is gonna deteriorate, but he is fine. So we are all fine. We almost got killed by our overconfidence. So uh, we're gonna do something stupid today as well. As also you can see over here, this glass, this uh, window being broken. We actually had some zombies come through here, break through these windows and you know, just uh, just wanted to party around. I uh, kind of prevented them from doing that. I said, no, you're not allowed. So what are we doing today, you ask? Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the siren on our car to attract massive hordes and then get rid of those massive hordes. I'm not gonna use fire. Well, I do have a Molotov just in case if things go too bad, but I wanted to test this 50 BMG rifle that you guys have told me it's just complete and utter distraction. So the plan is we take the car into the city, deeper into the suburbs. We uh, go to a nearby house that has a second store. We attached a sheep rope to the second store and we dismantle the stairs. So we will be safe up there with a view of the car. We turn on the siren, we wait for the zombies, we shoot them. Now, normally people would do this by burning the zombies around the car. We're not gonna burn them. We're gonna shoot them. All right, this is where we're gonna stage these houses right here. We're gonna have to fight for this position first, of course. Lots of these zombies will want to prevent us from being here, I presume. So that's understandable. As long as we can take these bad boys out, then well, we will be able to take out the hordes that will soon be coming as well. So this, this is the house that I think we can use right here we're gonna go first clear it out nice and easy and then we'll figure out what to do next it does sound like we have zombies upstairs so gotta be careful gotta be careful close the doors make sure there's no bathroom zombies it sounds like it might be in here hello lady and or sir Where the hell are you right there all right you'll love to see it you think we were prepared. We have a lot of resources we actually have to bring up there. I want food, because we're gonna need food. And there's this, this big old BMG rifle that is incredibly heavy that I also wanna, I wanna grab it. Ah, funny, I even found a box of rounds out here in this, in this place, it seems uh, decent. We're gonna attach a sheep robe back here in the back side of the, the area, and that's gonna be it's gonna be our way to get up and down. Now, well, what remains is to go slash the stairs and then turn on the siren. Well, so it begins. What are you going? With a whale? Let's go. All right, well, zombies, we'll see you soon. Oh, yes, there's already a couple. Come on in, boys. Oh, my God. Well, let's take a look how this, uh, this gun works. Oh, they prefer the sound of this. Oh my. Okay, well... <laughs> it seems like it targets only one. Come on, shoot two. Did it shoot two? I, I can't even tell. It's really hard to tell how many it actually shoots over here. I saw one fall. It might have been two. I wish it would target... Targets further in the back. But he targets the ones up front. Well, we have like seven rounds of this. We'll use all 70 and then we'll see. Now you can understand probably why people would rather use fire over here rather than this. This, this, you know what? This thing seems pretty ineffective. I think I'm gonna switch back to the M16 right now. All right, let's, uh, let's start yoinking with this one. That should be better. They do like the sound of my gun as well. <laughs> we didn't really check how many kills I had before this, but it, I know it was like 2,600 and something. I'm guessing we're gonna be getting pretty far, especially if we can get two shots per each of these. I, let's be real, I can't tell how many we actually should. But it's mostly, it seems like, either one or two, just looking at the number go up. 
this is uh, very uh, very efficient as well. And actually not that many zombies as imagined. I don't know exactly what is the range on uh, the sound of this thing that we're using right now. But it should be, I presume, draw them from quite far away. This is residential district after all. There should be a decent amount, although compared to what we did at the hospital, this isn't that many. Not that many at all. I mean, we have killed... Oh, light broke! Still a couple out here, but not nearly as many as I presumed there would be. This is the reason why I brought the Molotov as well, just to uh, make sure if there's gonna be too many, we can burn them. There's a couple on the other side of the car. Jesus, the jams are horrific. Alright, that's the boys on the other side of the car dealt with. Rudy, that, that's all? We've killed... What? A bit over a hundred, maybe? Alright, we have a couple more coming, which I presume we're banging on the... on the doors down here, because they were like, hmm, somebody's shooting from up there. We like that noise. Let's go get that noise. But wow, that's all of them. I, I presume we have a couple in the house as well. Hello, lady. Yeah, not, not nearly as many as I imagined to be. It doesn't seem to be any coming. I, I do hear some banging, so I presume we have some downstairs. I hear some banging around. I'm gonna turn off the siren. It doesn't seem to be attracting anybody new. <laughs> That's surprising. All right, well, that was way less than I imagined. But then again, we have drawn through... Drawn? We, we went through these areas before, and we've killed zombies here before, so... But still, not nearly as many. Maybe the range isn't that bad. This would be a great place to level that. Electricity or electrical, you know, just disassembling seven in the spot. Very efficient. Uh, nightstick. I do like nightsticks, but that one isn't that, that good. Now, it did break this door. Do we have anybody indoors? Doesn't seem like we have anybody indoors, but we do have somebody outside. Hello, lady. Hello, officer. Uh, so, it seems like some of them are still coming over here. I'm guessing maybe they were coming from further back. And it took them a while to get here. That could be it. And we have some, like, these guys over here stuck inside. But still, this is nearly as many as I uh, imagined. Not at all. Let's see if I can help you there, sir. There you go. Alright, what was that noise, though? Did we spot somebody else, or... Does the game think that it didn't see that guy? How about we come over here and we utilize this church right there? That was stupid, I really should not have uh, done that to my car. That's fine. Hello, friends. How do you do? Just a couple. There's probably more around. Yeah, how about we use the church? Church seems like a... Very useful uh, thing. Now, I don't know if you've seen the video that I made for like 10 cool mods that you should use for Project Zomboid. I have included a mod there that basically makes churches like a holy ground. Every zombie that comes in there is just gonna burn instantly and then burn the church in the process, which is also what makes it fun. Oh, hello, boys. Where are you guys coming from? Didn't see you there. Sorry. Oh, you too, sir. Oh, he wants to get back up. Okay. Looks like these guys uh, want a party before I officially start the party. None of that, sir. None of that. How's the church looking? All right, we're going to have a couple of stairs to break over here, unfortunately. But otherwise, we should be just fine. Oh, the, the problem comes with sheet ropes over here. Because uh, I'm on the roof now. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is uh, this is the best place. We might need to find a different a different house or something like that. Just wanted to go a bit further up the road. There seems to be a bunch of uh, Zeds over here already waiting for the fun that's gonna begin soon. So let's clear these out. There's some uh, taller houses over there. I I hear one nearby. Oh, there you are. 
There's more than just one nearby. Probably I should not have left my car be uh, running. Hmm, I don't know if this is perfect because we have that fence. How'd you miss that? Jesus, you have that fence. I don't know if uh, zombies will be able to come through here. Hello, sir. You are in the house that I have picked. And my gun has jammed. This is really unfortunate for both of us. Oh, come on. How many are in here? And I can't even help you open this, huh? Oh, hello. Multiple over here as well. Let's see if we can make entrance to this house without potentially killing ourselves. Oh, come on. Everything is closed. Ah, I see you there, buddy. Okay, that one is dead. We have somebody else banging over here. Hello, lady. You kind of scared me. I didn't see you where you were. You know what? This is starting to get slightly silly. Like, actually slightly silly. We have incoming from all sides. Incoming from all sides. Don't even need to... Oh, come on. Don't even need to go upstairs to start this fight. All right, I'm going to have to move a bit. Because I'm a bit cornered out here. All right, well... Certainly shows that there are zombies out here. It's just, uh, they're not how I pictured them to be. You know, when I uh, thought I would be dealing with them from the safety of upstairs area. And it's actually getting late. I wonder if he can sleep with the siren on. Lots of open doors up here, but we're fine. This is the window that we have to shoot over there. And if you, of course, want to sleep, which I'm... Starting to think might be a good idea. It's 7 p.m. We can spend the night sleeping over here. And then in the morning, we turn on the, the whole thing. We can, of course, sledge the stairs tonight already in preparation for tomorrow. I'm going to add the sheep rope. Sheep? I'm going to add the, add the sheep rope back here. That's going to be our exit. And now we can go and we can sledge the stuff down here. I do hear some zombies around, though. So maybe before we do that, I'm going to go check where they're hiding. It sounded like they might be back here. There you go. The stairs shall be gone. Okay, awesome. So we have the stairs destroyed. Let's put the sledge back in here. We have the food on us, so we can easily stay the night over here. And this seem like there's, there's food over here as well, so I'm going to gladly eat that. And now that we are safe upstairs, we can... Spend the night over here. I'm not sure. I should have probably brought a book or something like that. So he actually had something to do. Maybe we're going to look around the house. Maybe they do have a book or something we can uh, we can read while we uh, wait for him to get a bit more tired. Or we can do the favorite thing that people have been asking to. Wash ourselves. Yeah, let's do that. If there was light, you guys could see how nice and clean Max Chad is once again. Look at that. You can see it over here, very clean. His neck is completely fine now. I mean, not completely fine, but it hasn't been causing any issues. So I presume it is fine. And uh, we don't really need to reband it, which is, which is great stuff. The man woke up at five in the morning. I guess he's uh, very eager to start the day and start slaying. In fact, he's, he's, he was getting bored because we didn't kill stuff a lot lately, I guess. So that's fine. Can, uh, we can start the day if he wants to. I would really wish we had some more light over here. And since we already killed so many, I wonder how many zombies there's actually going to be left to kill. But I guess we'll figure that out very soon. Let's go alarm this time around. And let's run. Looks like we have the first boys incoming. First couple of boys. We'll see how many there's gonna be. Hello, friends. Just standing there, huh? Don't worry about it. Oh, we have a couple more that I don't quite see over here, huh? We do have a lot of them banging on various doors around. Around? That I can't quite see and will never see them. But I presume these guys are gonna go through this house or houses, wherever they're banging. They're gonna go through them pretty quick. You can see them, they're, they're down here, 
They hear me shooting, they're like, hey, I, I wanna I want a piece of that. But I really don't have that good of a vision cone from here. Some of these are hiding like over there and I can't quite see them. Oh, these guys have just come, I think, through the building. I think they broke the window down here and just got through. It is interesting that sometimes they do prioritize the gunshots, even though we have a silencer on, over the actual siren. I don't know how exactly that's supposed to work, but hey, it's fine. Oh yeah, more, more customers coming in now. Look at that. We're gonna be hitting that... 3k today, maybe? The vision cones on some of these guys. I, I know there's a guy down here, but I really cannot see him. I sped up the game a bit just to see if we're gonna have more incoming over here. A couple more, as you can see. And right away, they go for the gunshot. They don't... They don't care. They do not care for the siren as much as they care for the gunshot. Even though they can't really get to me. I see... Two more. Oh, come on. Oh, three more. But yeah, there's certainly not that many around. I think we have quite cleared this this part of the whole uh, town as well. Not that many kills. We have gotten, what, maybe 300 in these house clearing raids? Oh, you're there. And then that guy's there. And I see somebody right next to me, which is not nice. Otherwise, I think we're pretty good. I hear some banging around, but let's go turn this monstrosity off. All right. I would say job well done, and it's only 7.30 in the morning, so how about we cruise a bit deeper into the city and try to do another one of these? We have greens over here, and I think there should be a gas station nearby as well. Hello, friends. Oh yeah, there's a gas station, so... Really what we need to do now is find a place that might have two stories. Oh, something like this. The unfortunate part is all this fog that's gonna make the fighting over here to get out there really tough on me right now. Really tough. Especially if every shot I do, it's gonna be a goddamn jam. That does not help anybody. Excuse me. All right, how many do we have out here? Oh Wow, that's really bad shooting buddy. Is it the panic? It might be the panic also close range Doesn't really work that well on him We do Here oh come on with these jams. What's the quality of this gun? It's not that good anymore. That's for sure Stay down buddy Alright, uh, we do have a dude banging over there on the house that I kind of wanted to go through. We have multiple incoming here. This fog really isn't helping anybody. Because I, I can't see anything. Okay, that lady is down, but we still have that guy. Oh my god, it's annoying. Let's see if the door's unlocked. It's not, which means I have to go inside, huh? It seems uh, reasonable. Let's hope there's nobody else in here. Just that one guy. Hello, sir. All right. How are we looking back here? Decent. All right, we have a couple trying to get to the house. Stay down, please. Of course, all the doors are open. Who leaves all the doors always open, you people? What's wrong with you? We're gonna add a sheet rope in the back over here. That's gonna be our way in, way out. Oh, the visibility is really terrible down here. Gonna have a hard time actually seeing that car. But we should hopefully be fine. Let us destroy the stairs over here. And then uh, we can turn on the siren and have some fun once again. Let's just do this quickly. Okay, that one is annoying. Let's go alarm. I prefer alarm. Alright, we are up. There's been some zombies downstairs. Let's hope day clears a bit and we actually get some better visibility. Alright, we are ready, I think. We have... A couple down here. Not that I can see them, but I can see their outlines when the gun targets them. So we got that going for us, which is nice. <laughs> yeah, really, this, this fog isn't helping anybody. They will, of course, try to destroy the door down here. I can't blame them. I would try that as well. 
It's fine. There is more here, I think, than it was at the house we did earlier this morning. So, that's good. You know, we are doing a good job, that means. And, yeah, we'll be hitting that 3k very soon, I think, over here. Oh, yeah, they are definitely grouping up over here nicely. Hello, friends. Oh, my. <laughs> good thing we have... Uh, that extra Molotov if you need it. I'll stop with the jams, come on. I don't think we will over here, but still, just in case. There you go, we are over 3k zombies killed now. Very, very good. Oh, they have managed to break the doors, which means some of them are gonna be coming inside as soon as they uh, hear me shooting. Of course, we can then stop shooting and wait for them to go outside again. Good thing we don't have spider zombies or something like that that could actually climb up here that would be uh, slightly unfortunate if you didn't take off your stairs off of this place this would be uh, probably very dangerous also if you do the siren and then wait for all the zombies to come over here it's a great way to level up your sneaking skill so what we could do is just wait for the zombie giant horde to come over here next to the siren and then uh, I would just try sneaking around up here, leveling up my skills. But that, I don't think it's not needed. I mean, we're using guns, right? What is sneak skill for us? I don't think uh, it is as beneficial as it would be if I were playing as a melee character. But I presume there's none left back here. We good? Oh, there's definitely more down here. Couple more. Are we good? Okay, I think we're good. We can turn off the siren now. Oh, blessed peace. I think we can now go home. We have done some good stuff today, but the, the fog is kind of kind of killing this whole thing, isn't it? So this is, this is not even that far away from where we were. It just seems like the siren does not pull from as far as I thought it would pull. So, really what we would need to do is turn on the siren and drive around the town, slowly picking them up, and then probably take the shotgun out and just go ham. I, I guess that would be one thing to do, but at least we can say that we have cleared a couple of neighborhoods doing this now. So while I wanted to use that big old gun more, the main reason why I didn't use it is because it was just slow on the reloads so it took it took longer right because it takes time to reload also right we're at the school right now it's kind of hard to orientate yourself when it's this foggy <laughs> but uh all right we, we got this we got this so driving through i would put the siren on and then go to the highway and then at the highway where there's lots of space around I can take out the, the shotgun and start blasting because there's still many out here in the road Constantly breaking my car. I'm probably gonna need to fix the hood again. Alas, our plans have been kind of ruined today with all this crazy fog. You can't you can't shoot zombies if you don't see them, right? It's a, as you can imagine, it's a bit of a problem. But we made it home, and that's the most important thing. Let's see if we have anybody out, anybody out here. It seems safe and nice and easy now. So. One thing that I didn't show you what I did over here, you see these two broken glasses? I put these over here, so if zombies manage to come over here, right? This is the only path they can take to get to the stairs. I would hear them. Unless, I guess, if they break through this, I probably should have put the glass right here, but, you know, biggest chances that they go through that, so... We got, we got kind of a, that defensive measure over there. Now we're gonna have to figure out the boxes of magazines that we still have around because we're gonna we're gonna have to do a bunch of reloading i'm not sure how much ammo i still have for my this one for the uh whatever it's called the m16 i need to find it i don't think these are 556.45 these are 545.39 so these i guess are for different guns. Oh, we have 26 boxes over here in one of these. Oh, that's, that is very good. That makes me happy. I'm gonna open a bunch of them. 
so we can start reloading uh, all of our magazines. And we have a couple more back here as well. So that's good. I need to test these 4Gs at some point. I don't know if you have a gun for that. I'm going to have to go test it. We have this uh, Winchester Model 1903. So I'm guessing this is like a long range rifle. It has the 22 LR round long range, I presume. How good is that gun? It, uh, it holds 10 shots. I presume it's pretty slow to shoot and also pretty slow to reload. The damage seems pretty crap on that thing is it just uh not worth using it i i guess it's just not worth using it right because uh we do have a bunch of these 22 uh, uh long range rounds and you know we probably at some point we're gonna have to use everything we have so let me know how good that actually is oh i am stupid look at this gun we have over here we have the 50 bmg magazine for this gun why did we go shoot that gun without magazines? Oh, that would have, that would have made it uh, slightly easier. <laughs> I did not notice we had another one that actually had a magazine. Yep, that was uh, my mistake. So it does not seem like we have any shotguns that would be capable of firing the 4G stuff. Unless you can put it into normal shotgun. Uh, I'm I'm not sure exactly how that works, but uh, we could we could try. And if you guys know, please do let me know. I'm gonna check because I know we had some more things around out here. Oh, I ha still haven't watched the VHS tape cider. I should have probably watched that. Uh, that is 45. You have a lot of these 45 ACP shots. These are pistol rounds. Not sure how good they are. Also, another thing that if you guys know, please do let me know. Right, both of my guns have been fully reloaded. The 9mm one, the... Look at that, we have 28 of these Stanek magazines. All full. We didn't even level up to level 5 reloading. It's a shame. I should have probably gone with Fast Learner over here if I really wanted that, but... Alas, it, it's fine. And we have... Time to read and watch some, some of our things over here, don't we? What kind of VHS tapes do we still have? So the fitness stuff we said we're not gonna we're not gonna use. We have the trapping and foraging over here. Not that we're probably ever gonna use those much, but it's fine. We can read the cook or watch the cooking stuff as well while reading the book. Probably should go turn on the generator though if I actually want to use this. Just a nice casual day of murder and now watching some uh, videotapes, right? Nothing wrong with that. Uh, how about we turn this on first? There you go. Now you can play and you can read the foraging thing as well. Hello, Dean. Let's watch this. Let us watch foraging next and we can go a bit speed up over here. So he goes through this faster. Just bored him for now. And he's learning about foraging while reading a book on foraging. How about that? We do have 0.3 boost to this. It's not very impressive. Not very good, <laughs> but still level one in all of those. Why not? Let's go for the for the cooking show next uh, and play that. What are we making today? Taste of Asia. Ooh, that seems seems good. There we go. Cooking level one as well. We already had some cooking XP from I don't know. I, I guess slicing up the fish that we caught at some point. There was that. Let's also learn how to make sandwiches because. You know, that's a, that's a skill not everybody knows just like that. We probably are not going to get to level 2 cooking. Really should have read the books for that first, but I'm fine. You know, spend the, spend the evening just learning about cooking and trapping and foraging. Seems like a great thing to do while reading a book on foraging. Nothing wrong there. All right. Well, these have now been read. We can uh, put them out here on the, on the pile of the, the rest of the good things. I wanted to go test uh, this big old Gunworks BMG rifle that we have compared to... Where was this? Oh, so th yeah, this Macmillan thing. This is the one that we actually brought back. I remember that now. I'm, I I made a stupid. I uh, fixed, the wrong, fixed the wrong one. Can I? No, so this one doesn't actually have... Uh, the magazines. Yeah, see, see, I, I did that wrong because this one is bolt action. Let's upgrade the Macmillan thing with, well, everything that we can upgrade it with. 
laser sight and the suppressor. Well, I my apologies there. I I, I definitely did a stupid. Uh, let's equip this in both hands because I'm killing myself holding this thing because these are really, really heavy guns. Where is it? This one, look at that. 10 kilos unequipped. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's a that's a cool gun. I don't know what I did there. Why I did it so stupidly. There you go. We can reload nicely for the 10 shots. It makes it so much easier. Oh, I, I'm mad at myself now. So we have a long range sniper rifle, as I presume it would be, and that's why I was kind of surprised that the other the other one <laughs> wasn't so good. And of course it was slow because it was bolt action and then you had to reload it really my apologies this guys that was uh that was stupid but you know what next time we can try this bad boy out thank you for watching <laughs>